Good morning students. Myself, Dr. Kusum Akki, Associate Professor, Department of Pharmacography, Kaley College of Pharmacy, Hubli. So now in today's class, we are going to study about conventional methods of extraction, especially maceration, which is one of the important topic in your syllabus of pharmacognosy and phytochemistry. Now coming to the definition of extraction. So extraction may be defined as the separation of medicinally active portions of plants or animal tissues from inactive or inert components by means of using selective solvents. Now why I am saying selective solvents is usually depending upon the phytoconstituents which has to be extracted, we have to select the solvent in such a way that the selective solvent should solubilize the wanted phytoconstituents. Say for example, if we want to extract alkaloid from a crude drug, then the choice of solvent will be chloroform because alkaloids are soluble in chloroform. So in this method, what happens is that the wanted components are dissolved by use of selective solvents known as menestrim and the undissolved part is known as murk. So after extraction, the murk is removed and extracts are usually prepared by means of using suitable solvents. Now coming to the different methods of extraction. So in your syllabus, you have conventional as well as modern methods of extraction. Under conventional method of extraction, we are going to study infusion, decoction, maceration, percolation, continuous hot extraction. Under modern methods, we are going to study supercritical fluid extraction, counter current extraction, microwave assisted extraction, ultrasonication assisted extraction. Now coming to infusion. Now what are infusions? So infusions are usually prepared by pouring water over the drug and then allowing it to keep in contact with the water or a solvent for a stated period. So usually the stated period is 15 minutes with occasional stirring and finally filtering of the liquid. And here the mark is not pressed. And usually boiling water is preferred to cold water because boiling water has a greater solvent action than the cold water. So the apparatus which is usually used for preparing the infusion, a good example is a coffee pot or a teapot which is one of the simplest form of apparatus used for preparing infusion. So the drug is usually placed at the bottom of the pot, water is added and it is well stirred 3 or 4 times during the period of infusion or infusion also can be prepared by enclosing a drug in a muslin black and then suspending it below the level of water in a beaker. So in this case stirring is not required. Why? Because the water slowly circulates due to increase in the specific gravity of the water near the drug and when water comes in contact with the drug it dissolves the phytoconstituents and becomes heavier. So the heavier layers settle down and their place is usually taken by fresh water. As a result, there is slow circulation of water and hence stirring is not required. But when hot water is used, what happens? When hot water is used as a menstruum, cooling of water occurs more rapidly at the surface than in the mass of the liquid. So the lower layers of the water which are hotter and contains less dissolved active constituent will rise and displace the upper layers. Hence there is slow circulation of water which makes stirring unnecessary. Even we can make use of special pots known as infusion pots. 
So, infusion pods usually consist of loose perforated shelf resting on a projection near the top of the pot. The drug is usually placed on the perforated shelf. The pot is filled with water and the perforated shelf is adjusted below the surface of water. So, examples of infusion are infusion of orange, concentrated infusion of quassia. So, next we will come to decoction. So, in decoction what we do is that the drug is usually boiled with water for a stated period say usually 10 minutes. After boiling the liquid is strained and water is passed through the content of the container to make the required volume. So, this process is usually chosen for vegetable drugs of hard and woody nature and for those phytoconstituents which are usually thermostable and thermostable water soluble constituents. So, example of decoct by examples by using decoction process they are tea or coffee. Now, we will go to the next process of extraction that is maceration. So, in maceration process what is done is that the crude drug is usually placed in a stoppered container with the whole of the menstruum and then it is allowed to stand for a period of at least 3 days extending up to 7 days with occasional stirring. The mixture is strained, the murk is pressed and the combined liquids filtered to make a clear liquid. Now, there are three maceration processes which are they? They are first is a simple maceration or it is a process for tinctures which is usually made from organized drugs such as root, stem or leaves. Then the next process is maceration with adjustment. It is a process for tinctures made from unorganized drugs such as oleoresins or gum resins. And the third process is process for concentrated preparation which includes double and triple maceration and it is also known as multiple maceration process. Now, coming to the first one, the first one that is simple maceration. So, here maceration process for tinctures which is usually made from organized drug. Now, before we go into the procedure, let me tell you about the apparatus which is used. So, the apparatus which is used for maceration process usually consists of a wide mouth bottle or any other container which can be well stoppered and usually it is closed because to prevent the evaporation of the menstruum which is mostly alcohol which otherwise may lead to variation in strength as no adjustment in volume is made. Now, coming to the method let us see how the maceration process is carried out. So, here what is done is that the drug is usually placed with the menstruum in a closed vessel for a period of 7 days. So, during this period shaking is done occasionally. Now, why shaking should be done? Shaking of the drug during maceration is essential in order to replace the saturated layers around the drug with fresh menstruum. So, after 7 days the liquid is strained and murk is pressed. Now, why murk is pressed? Because there are chances that since it is an organized drug, there are chances that some of the menstruum, the drug that is a crude drug may be some of the menstruum may be present within the spaces of the crude drug. Then the pressed liquid is mixed with the strained liquid and then filtered. So, here no final adjustment is made. Now, why no final adjustment is made? Because the volume of the pressed liquid 
is likely to vary with the process of pressing the mark. So, if the final adjustment in volume is made, it may give variation in concentration of active principles, although the volume of the final preparation may be same. And why do we have to filter? Filtration is necessary in order to remove the insoluble cell contents obtained during the pressing of the mark. So, examples of simple maceration process are tincture of orange, tincture of lemon or tincture of squill. Now, coming to the next process that is maceration with adjustment. So, usually this process is carried out for unorganized truck. They may be gum resins, gum resins or oleo gum resins. So, here the method is in this process the unorganized drug is placed with 4 fifths of the menstruum in a closed vessel for a period of 2 to 7 days. So, here what happens is that the period is usually reduced from 7 days to 2 days in some cases because the unorganized drugs behave like simple chemical which dissolve in the solvent very easily and quickly. So, during this period shaking is done occasionally. So, after the stated period the liquid is filtered and the mark is not pressed. So, here usually we take 4 fifth of the volume is taken. So, 4 fifth of the menstruum is used to contact it with the drug in order to take into account the increase in the volume after dissolving the soluble matter of the drug. The volume is made up at the end with one fifth of the remaining menstruum. Now, since the gum is a compact gummy matter, it does not retain any menstruum. Hence, it is not necessary to press the mark. The final volume is made up because all the active constituents of the drug get dissolved in the menstruum and mark is not pressed. Hence, there is no change in the concentration of the preparation in case the final volume is made up. So, example of uh, maceration preparation, example maceration with adjustment or tincture of tolu and compound tincture of benzoin. Now, we will go to the next process that is multiple maceration process. In other words, it includes double maceration process and triple maceration process. So, multiple maceration process is carried out in the same way as simple maceration process, but the menstruum used is divided into two parts in double maceration process and into three parts in triple maceration process. Now, first we will study about double maceration process. So, in double maceration process, the drug is macerated twice by using the menstruum which is divided into two parts in such a manner that the same volume is used for each maceration. So, the quantity of the menstruum required for two macerations it is calculated as follows. First is volume of the menstruum required for first maceration is equal to total volume of the menstruum minus volume to be retained by the drug upon 2 plus volume to be retained by the drug. Then volume of menstruum required for second maceration is equal to total volume of the menstruum minus volume of the menstruum used in first maceration. Now here you can see that volume to be retained by the drug. Now prior to the experimentation, prior to using this uh, extraction process, a small experiment is carried out by means of using small batch to find out how much volume is retained by the drug because 
the volume changes depending upon the crude drug which is used if the crude drug is porous volume may be increased retained may be increased if it is non porous volume retained is less so usually volume retained by drug is determined by experiment in a test batch of the drug by adding a known volume of the menstruum to the known weight of the drug so after maceration straining and pressing of the mark is done and the volume of the liquid obtained is measured difference in the volume obtained and the volume used represents the volume retained by the variable quantity of the drug so in double maceration process what is done is that the whole of the drug is macerated for 48 hours with the quantity of the menstruum required for first maceration strain the liquid and press the mark macerate again for 24 hours with the remaining menstruum required for second maceration strain the liquid and press the mark mix the liquids obtained from both the maceration allow it to stand for 20, 14 days and then you have to filter so examples of drugs prepared by means of using this multiple double maceration process is concentrated infusion of orange concentrated compound infusion of chirata concentrated compound infusion of gentian so now we'll come to the last one that is triple maceration process so in this maceration process the drug is macerated thrice by using the menstruum which is divided into three parts in such a manner that the same volume is used for each maceration the quantity of menstruum required for three maceration is calculated as follows that is volume of menstruum required for first maceration is total volume of menstruum minus volume to be retained by the drug upon 3 plus volume to be retained by the drug and second volume of menstruum required for second and third maceration is equal to total volume of menstruum minus volume of menstruum used in first maceration upon 2 now here in this triple maceration process the whole of the drug is macerated for 1 hour with a part of the menstruum required for first maceration and strain macerate again for 1 hour with a part of the menstruum required for second maceration and strain macerate again for 1 hour with a part of the menstruum required for third maceration and strain press the mark lightly then combine the liquids obtained from second and third maceration and evaporate to a specified extent evaporate it to dryness too so you get a concentrated form and mix it with the liquid obtained from first maceration then you have to add alcohol 90% alcohol equal to 1/4 volume of the finished product adjust the volume with water allow it to stand for 14 days and filter so examples of drugs using this triple maceration process are concentrated infusion of quassia and liquid extract of senna so this is all about the conventional method of extraction so in the next class we'll study about the percolation process thank you